Hi everyone, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In part two, we are going to train our ear to notice or to recognize intervals to capture all of them. The seconds, the thirds, the fourths, the fifths, the sixths, the sevenths and maybe even the octave, which, which seems a bit tricky because you have to stretch so much. When it comes to ear training, we have to get to this answer. We have to crack these intervals by not just listening and identifying but also executing by singing so we'll have to use our voice keep yourself hydrated while watching the video keep a bottle of water ready at all times as you can see i have mine so that's very important and also let me recap a few things from the previous part from a theoretical perspective the types of intervals with respect to any note or with res respect to any scale throughout this series we are going to look at D major and B flat major. So in the last part at the end of the tutorial, we looked at D major and the essential goal theoretically from the point of view of ear training and from the point of view of technique is for you to know the name, for you to know the sound, for you to be able to play and acknowledge any note from any note in that scale. So we are not only trying to say that B is the sixth note of the D major scale. No, B is the fifth note with respect to E, isn't it? B is the fourth note with respect to F sharp. B is the third note with respect to G. B is the second note with respect to A. So B has many roles. B has many use cases. So uh, it's very important that we look at intervals with respect to neighboring notes. That's the note either before or the note which is coming after. Music is a dynamic art form. So we need to acknowledge the thing before and then compute the thing next. And if we are here, then where do we go? There are multiple options. Intervals are the building blocks. They help us connect from one point to the next. They also help us build chords and build scales. They are the building blocks of everything we have in music. So let's just quickly recap the theory from the last part. If you take uh, the B flat major scale, I'm telling how many flats does B flat have? Two, right? B flat, E flat. There we go. So two flats, B flat major. The intervals with respect to each note. So if you take B flat, B flat second would be a major second. A major second is basically two chromatic steps. Then B flat's third would be major third. B flat's fourth would be perfect fourth. B flat's fifth would be perfect fifth. B flat sixth would be major sixth. B flat to A would be a major seventh. Okay, and B flat's octave. Now you could say B flat's fifth is F, or you can also say B flat and F form or forge a perfect fifth interval with respect to each other, right? Or F is the fifth from B flat. There are a lot of ways of analyzing this, and you should know all of the ways because every method of uh, discovery is important. So if you take the note F, you should know that F is the fifth of the B flat, while B flat's fifth is the F. Okay, so sometimes they'll give you B flat and you have to know it's fifth. So B flat F, F or F, what is F the fifth of? F is the fifth of B flat. So you can even look at a couple of songs, for example. So twinkle, twinkle, or maybe. So the two notes are perfect fifths with respect to each other. There we go. Or if you do the descending fifth, F is the fifth of the B flat. So. If you remember, maybe you could always look at a song to help you form the fifth. Well, pretty much any uh, any interval. So if it's uh, a perfect fourth or the song basically starts with 
the perfect fourth coming back to b flat b flat major we looked at all its intervals but let's memorize each interval type with respect to any note so if you take b flat major remember the formula from the last discussion the seconds all of the seconds are major however between the 3 and the 4 and between the 7 and the octave those are minor so major major minor major 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 minor okay so minor would be third to fourth degree and um, seventh to octave coming to thirds the major third will basically be at the 1 degree the 4 degree and the 5 degree so major third major third major third while minor thirds would be everything else second third sixth and seventh minor third minor third minor third minor third that's a seventh coming to the fourth interval all of them would be perfect fourths except for the fourth one the fourth degree will form a augmented fourth everything else is perfect coming to the fifths everything will be perfect except for the seventh degree which will be an augmented Okay, and you can remember fifths and fourths easily using the circle of fifths. Clockwise neighbor is a perfect fifth, and counterclockwise neighbor is the perfect fourth. So we have, uh, we have two, three, four, five. What's next? We have the sixth. So major sixth, another major sixth, and then you have a minor sixth, and then another major sixth, major, minor. minor so three minors and the rest being major so let's go through that again major sixth b flat to g what's that major six c to a now this is a minor six d to b flat this is a major six because it's perfect plus 2 e flat to c then another major six f to d And then you have a uh, minor six because it's perfect plus one G to E flat, and now you have a, another minor six which is A to F, and then major octave. That's pretty much it. And then you have the sevens. For the sevens, you just have to remember that the first degree and the fourth degree will form major sevens, while the rest will all be minor. So major seventh, minor seventh. Minor seventh, major seventh, because it's a four. Minor seventh, minor seventh, minor seventh, minor seventh, se major major seventh, because that's the octave. A quick trick to remember all of these intervals: if you need to mug up the fifths and fourths through the circle of fifths, that's very easy. So C G D A E B F sharp D flat A flat E flat B flat F C in that direction. Then you have C F B flat E flat A flat D flat G flat B E A D G C in the other uh, counter direction. That will give you your fifths and fourths. So that's two intervals done. Major third and minor third you need to mug up. You need to somehow remember. Now coming to all the others, major second can be any note plus two chromatic steps. Minor second can be any note plus one chromatic step. Then the diminished or the tritone could be either the perfect fourth plus one or the uh, perfect fifth minus one. Major six could be looked at as perfect five plus two steps, chromatic steps. Minor six could be looked at as perfect five plus one chromatic step. Okay, or major six minus one. The major seventh could be looked at as an octave minus one chromatic step, and the minor seventh could be looked at as an octave minus two chromatic steps. So that's about the essential theory. Let's now get into some ear training. Step number one. Let's sing patterns, which a lot of vocalists tend to practice in a singing class. So let's get with that. So I'll be flowing in and out of D major and B flat major throughout our tutorial. So we'll just start with D. So the first thing is to sing patterns. Sa la 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 
get used to seconds so sa re re ga ga ma ma pa pa da da ni ni sa down sa ni ni da da pa pa ma ma ga ga re re sa you could even go by note names d e e f sharp f sharp g g a a b b c sharp c sharp d or by interval names major second major second minor second major second major second major second minor second Let's also do that with B flat. Me la da da la da 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 la da re re te ra ta 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 ra. It's also good to not give yourself too much of the solution on the piano. Just hold a a drone, sort of like a tanpura, which people practice Indian music with. Sa re re ga ga ma ma pa pa da da ni ni sa sa re sa ni ni da da pa pa ma ma ga ga re re sa sa ni sa. this will get you through the second intervals now coming to the third intervals re ma ga pa ma da pa ni da sa ni re sa okay so again a good practice would be you could probably play them harmonically so you don't kind of cheat yourself into the answer so if you do this now play this and sing la if you don't know the swaras or if you don't know solfege like do re mi fa sol la ti it's okay you can just say la la or na na as long as you get the third interval na 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 and a, a, a tip for you when you're training your ear and singing don't sing immediately try to play it wait a bit digest this sound sort of you're you're digesting it and also kind of letting the the waves bounce through your brain as it feels so i So as long as you you need to feel them independently once you can then la da da la 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 you can also predict the the shape la da 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 la da 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 te ru 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 de do so that's your thirds very common in a singing class but now you have to journey forward what about fourths la la That's your augmented. Na na ra 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 re ra re. Now, if you're having a problem singing the fourths, you can probably do a couple of things. La ra ra, la ta ra, le tu ru. So you're kind of going to the fourth via the third. Sa so sa ga ma re ma pa. You know ta. So if you're doing, you can even do five to four. Hmm. Hmm. Ti ta ra. Then tu ta ra. Or eventually la ra la ra la ra. Fourth, fifth, sixth. Na 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 ha. Da do 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 do. Okay, that's your fourth. Rather tricky. You can even do. Tum pa re do. 
or make a melody where it kind of starts from the root goes to the fourth and then comes back to the root for example do do re 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 ro so do do re 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 ro now repeat the tune te re re ro 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 do do re re ro ro and then continue the tune from the third degree so ta ra ra re ro ro now ta re 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 ro then te re re tu ro re 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 ro te ra ra re ro ro then ta ra re re ra ra then so stuff like that or just direct now coming to the fifth pa ra re re tu ru tu ru fifth fifth watch out for that that's a diminished fifth tu ru that singing fifths then we have sixth to do 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 to do 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 to do 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 to do 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 then to do do re 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 to do 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 another way to challenge yourself is now if you know the sixth interval you can just give yourself a note do do and just go don't don't go linearly ta ra and now present the sixth ta ra do do now if you can't get it you could remember maybe way up high from somewhere or the rain, rainbow way up high way up high maybe another way up then maybe we are pai 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 okay that's your six six are rather tricky to sing and then coming to the sevens which are very rare to sing but it's good to know them sa that's your root ha your seventh and finally you have the octave if you want to practice that okay if you can't pitch the sevens the octaves or even the six i'd say just stick with 2 3 4 and 5 for now okay moving forward very quickly to the next exercise which will be to sing intervals over the y axis as i call it with the sa or the tonic as the center and then move up the same distance ascending as well as de- descending so by distance it could mean second so let's pick up the key of d and if you visualize this in a kind of a y axis where d is at the start so you will have sa re sa ni sa because a second up would be e right sa re and a second down sa ni sa re sa ni you can give yourself the d only sa re sa ni sa so exercise one sa re sa ni sa now you st- step up you you have a gap and you do thirds sa ga sa da sa so that would be a third up and a third down so sa ga sa da sa ga would be 3 and da would be 6 you can just say na 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 so what did we have sa re sa ni sa then 
saga sada sa now ma skipping up to fourth sa ma sa pa sa repeat sa ma sa pa sa don't play too much sa ma sa pa sa sa ma sa pa sa now pa up becomes ma down sa pa sa ma sa sa pa sa ma sa sa pa sa ma sa because it's a fifth same distance up and same distance down sa pa sa ma sa sa pa sa ma sa now let's jump to the sixth sa da sa da sa ga sa sa da sa ga sa slightly tricky because you have to jump up which is tricky enough and then you have to jump down also so sa dha sa ga sa sa dha sa ga sa dha becomes ga so they are kind of polar opposites if you think about it re ni that's 2 and 7 then ga and dha they kind of flip out uh, then ma and pa and yeah th- that's about it actually now coming to the ni so sa ni sa re no that's a bit tough even for me to sing sa ni sa re sa but it's a good good test to remember stuff and could also be a good vocal drill but don't overdo it sa ni sa re sa repeat sa ni sa re sa and then sa 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 so that will be only octaves sa 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 repeat sa 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 so a uh, whole thing sa re sa ni sa that's 2 seconds sa ga sa dha sa thirds sa ma sa pa sa that's your fourths do that again sa pa sa coming to fifths sa pa sa ma sa pa becomes ma sa dha sa ga sa that's your sixth sa ni sa re sa that's your seventh which becomes a two down and then it goes sa 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 the rather extreme one so that's another exercise to sing intervals along the y axis and very quickly just to extend this exercise a bit more to maybe make it a bit different in both directions would be to just say i'll pivot one side i'll pivot the negative y axis or i'll pivot the positive y axis and then explore every interval along those uh, uh, along the way so if you take uh, let's pick a new key Let, let's do b flat so if you take if you anchor the the uh, minus y axis is so if you anchor the the knee which is a just under b flat right so sa ni sa re sa sa ni sa re sa pa just for fun you can add the pa sa ni sa re sa pa now sa ni sa ga sa going to the ga or the three sa ni sa ga sa now sa ni sa ma sa sa ni sa pa sa sa ni sa da sa sa ni sa ni sa sa ni sa 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 ni sa ni sa so you kind of play around with that top note and pivot to the sa as well as the ni down down the sa under the sa so things like sa ni sa ga sa ni sa ma things like that so it's not just a ear training exercise you can also use this pivoting technique to to compose some music so what if we now anchor the third in the positive y axis that will be d sa ga sa ni sa sa ga sa da sa sa ga sa pa sa sa ga sa ma sa sa ga 
and so on so you're trying to focus on both directions when you're composing or, or even training your ear and the last way to to train your ear would be just jumble the distances you can just write it in a piece of paper and say okay i want to do 3 up and 4 down so it'll be let's come back to d so 1 3 1 4 down 3 up 4 down pam tan chak tam chak tam tara ta tara ru ru you can even go linearly sare ga sa ni da pa tara pa para bara or uh, i want to go maybe 5 up and 3 down ta ra 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 ta ra ta ta maybe you can even do the same interval and match it ta ra 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 and so on can do things like that with various jumbling strategies but take a break from time to time because you are also singing and i encourage you to train your ear always by singing and playing or not even playing just giving a drone on the piano and focusing more on the singing this would be a very natural way to to get your ears attentive to to anything you hear and also help you compose along the way which is also very important you should try and create music while you're practicing music that's a that's always a suggestion which i give students okay so this should be good enough for part 2 the third part is going to be a very short but very important part where we are going to figure out how to play all this stuff on the piano i'm going to give you a few exercises a few techniques a few ways to remember this but we've kind of covered most of it the theory is fully done Uh, with respect to any note uh, we've also figured out our years and now let's get to the piano department and try to practice all these intervals really quickly stay tuned to the next part you can consider getting our handwritten notes on patreon as well as the the sheet music and midi file uh, and also subscribe and hit the bell icon for regular notifications thanks a ton for watching the video cheers catch you in the next one